Hello friends! In this video you'll see how the actors of the epic movie series Star Wars have changed. You'll know their real names and age. I will show you how they look then and what's with them now. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Let's go! Han Solo has a good relationship with Chewbacca, with whom he travels on the Millennium Falcon. He is mainly engaged in illegal affairs and often seeks his own benefit in any business. Han is resourceful and can change himself for the better. Princess Leia Organa reigns supreme on Alderaan. She is well-mannered but not spoiled girl who is quite good at politics and has good intentions. Knows how to stand up for herself, played by Carrie Fisher, who passed away from a heart attack in 2016. C3PO Anthony Daniels served as an assistant to Anakin Skywalker and also served Luke some time later. He is well-mannered, knowledgeable in history and wishes to live in a time of peace. His specialty is languages and he can even communicate with R2-D2. Ben Obi-Wan Kenobi is a skilled Jedi who is proficient with the lightsaber and also passed on his knowledge to Luke. He is quite smart able to go unnoticed and also ready for self-sacrifice, played by Alec Guinness, who died of liver cancer in 2000. Darth Vader was a powerful figure among the Sith and worked with the Emperor to follow his orders, has a tech-modified physique and also has a rather strong dark side, played by David Prowse, who died in 2020 from complications of COVID-19. Chewbacca is Han Solo's companion with whom he smuggled. He is distinguished by his tall stature and the presence of thick fur all over his body. He can shoot a crossbow accurately, played by Peter Mayhew, who passed away in 2019 from a heart attack. Grand Moff Tarkin obeyed the instructions of the Galactic Empire, which he often carried out from the Death Star. He is confident and tends to resort to manipulation and even threats. Has a lean build, played by Peter Cushing, who died in 1994 of cancer. R2-D2 is a variant of the R2 series who could make repairs to the spacecraft and was also one of Luke's assistants. He is not prone to show in fear and is able to remain extremely calm, played by Kenny Baker who passed away in 2016 after a long illness. Uncle Owen was married to Beru Whiteson, with whom he raised Luke Skywalker. He is a hardworking and an organized man who knows how to be grateful, but can also sometimes show a strict disposition, played by Phil Brown, who died of pneumonia in 2006. Yoda belongs to a race of humanoids and has gained great fame along the Jedi. He has also trained Luke, sharing his wisdom and secret knowledge of immortality. Yoda speaks clearly and always tries to answer student queries. Boba Fett is a student of Django whose death has left a certain imprint on him, has an excellent reputation as a seeker and first-class killer and not used to forgiving his offenders played by Jeremy Bullock, who passed away in 2020 from Parkinson's disease. Admiral Ozil was subordinate to Darth Vader. He could be arrogant at times and often thought he was better than others. He could not always make the right decisions in the course of combat operations, played by Michael Sheard, who died of cancer in 2005. Lando Claritian is on good terms with Han Solo and has considerable influence in Cloud City. He likes to gamble and have arguments, but sometimes luck is not on his side. He is popular with women. Lando wears a mustache. He was played by Billy D. Williams. Anakin Skywalker is Luke's natural father, thanks to whom he got rid of the dark side. He showed a noble deed. He gave his life for the life of his son thanks to whom he atoned for his deeds, played by Sebastian Shaw, who died in 1994 of natural causes. 
the Imperial rules over the galactic expanses, not shying away from using despotic methods. He is characterized by extreme manipulativeness in order to obtain unlimited power. And he is also characterized by the manifestation in duplicity, played by Ian McDermott. Darth Vader was formerly Anakin Skywalker until Palpatine lured him to the dark side, training him with a powerful force. He is characterized by his heavy whistling breath as well as the deeper voice that the mask gives him. He was voiced by James Earl Jones. Qui Gon Jim, Liam Neeson, was one who insisted that Anakin Skywalker be initiated as a Jedi. He is not greedy for power doesn't seek to acquire distinctive titles and is not the type to make long-range plans and calculate everything down to the last detail. Queen Amidala is the ruler of Nabu and was also the lover of Anakin Skywalker, by whom she gave birth to twins. She is not a narcissist and is also sensitive to the needs of others. Always says what she thinks is right. The role is played by Natalie Portman. Obi-Wan Kenobi was Anakin Skywalker's first mentor. He has the ability to heal through the Force, is able to act wisely and is also characterized by fearlessness. He can fly a fighter jet and is an excellent swordsman. Shmi Skywalker is one of the Tatooine residents who was a blood relative of Anakin. She was good-natured, though enslaved, but she tried to enjoy every day and give love to her child. Shmi was characterized by unselfishness. She was played by Pernilla August. Captain Panaka, Hugh Quarshi, lives in Nabu and is part of the Royal Guard. He enjoys great confidence in Amidala and the safety of the Queen is on paramount importance to him. Panaka has leader qualities, purposefulness, as well as the utmost observation. Mace Windu, Samuel L. Jackson, was previously trained by Yoda and is on a special account with the High Council. He honors the traditions of the Jedi, possesses first-class craftsmanship and is able to show determination. Windu masterfully wields a lightsaber. Count Dooku was a Jedi before joining the Sith he can show humanity, but at the same time he skillfully knows how to deceive and get what he wants from people. Dooku is endearing and has a strong interest in technology. The role is played by Christopher Lee. Senator Bail Organa hails from Alderaan, where he rules with his beloved Briha. He didn't share the Imperial regime and helped the rebels in every way he could to bring about the revolution. Bale is compassionate and able to help others, played by Jimmy Smith. Dormi was in the service of Padme Amidala, whom she often accompanied everywhere. She is distinguished by extreme devotion, is able to show observation and concern for others. Dormi is a master of wood cover, has a pleasant smile. The role is played by Ross Beer. Sam Wessel, Liana Welsman is a native of Zalan who was very different from the locals and didn't honor their traditions. She is characterized by ruthlessness, hostility, and for her, money has significant value. Zam is capable of taking on various guises. Anakin Skywalker, Hayden Christensen, was Padme Amidala's secret consort. He is one of the Jedi who performs various tasks for the Council, including rescue missions. Anakin loves his wife immensely and is willing to swear allegiance to the Dark Forces to save her. Django Fett, Tamara Morrison, worked for some time with Zan Wessel, with whom he was involved in kidnappings as well as assassinations. He was a professional at what he did, which earned him quite a reputation in the galaxy. Luke Skywalker, Mark Hamill, was the only son of Anakin and Padme Amidala, raised by Owen. He didn't go the way of his father and conformed to the Dark Force, choosing instead to eliminate the Imperial evil. Luke is of good character and is not overconfident. 
Ki Adimundi was a member of the Jedi Council and also fought against the Confederacy of Independent Systems. He knows how to think deeply, develop a strategy, and is often guided by logic in life. Wears a mustache and beard. He was ported by Silas Carson. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please share it on social networks, like it, and of course subscribe to the channel.